Hey guys, how are y'all doing on this fine Sunday afternoon? June the 5th, 2022. And uh, yeah, I'm, as you can tell, feeling good as always, getting stronger every day. And I'm here at the intersection of Avenue Road and Wilson Avenue, just off of Highway 401 here in the North York Borough. Probably in the Armour Heights neighborhood, according to the, to the sign there at the, uh, the library. And uh, it's a partly cloudy day, not so bad, but also it's not too hot and humid as well, so that's a win-win. And, uh, and it's a busy Sunday too, there's lots of traffic here. And it took me a while to get up here because, you know, today is Sunday, so not all services are re is reliable. And uh, I just filmed a, a bus ride on the uh, uh, on the uh, 61 Avenue Road North route. Took it all the way to Bombay Loop. So uh, you're going to see that coming up. But I'm going to do a little walking video down uh, through Upper uh, Upper Avenue Village. There's a bit of some sunlight as well, but it's not hot at all. It's just perfect. I like it when I like it when it's like this. So I'm gonna take this all the way down to Lawrence Avenue, and then where am I gonna go after that? I don't know. But didn't want to really venture out too far today. This this time, June's gonna be really busy because of uh, school, and I have I have plants next weekend. So I'm not really gonna, I don't think I'm gonna have much time to, uh, or any time at all to uh, film next weekend. Although most of, most of the times I am, uh, I, I am posting videos two times a day at least. And uh, I, don't even, I don't even know how long I've been posting uh, every day. So again, this is Armour Heights, but uh, I think once we, I think uh, once we get more into it, We'll also be in Ledbury Park. It's, an, it's not too, too far from where I live, but it still took a while for me to get here. Because I, I took the uh, 32 bus to Eglinton Station and had to wait like a friggin' 25 minutes for the 61. And I'm pretty familiar with this area, but I uh, haven't really walked around here on foot, even though I was actually here last month. I'll tell you why later on. My neighbor has a friend or you know someone that lives here on Carmichael Avenue. I was right outside their house I think three years ago. Forgot to mention here walking on the uh, west side of Avenue Road. And yeah, this neighborhood has some pretty cool um, homes, like cookie, cookie cutter style houses as well. Well, some of them at least. Look at this one. And there's a few bungalows here as well. Hey, there's Bruno's Foods. But yeah, where are all these, uh, these people going? It's Sunday. I guess a lot of people want to get out because, you know, warmer weather's here and, of course, summer officially begins in uh, three and a half weeks. Actually, no, two and a half weeks. It's a nice mural on the on Bruno's. They sell, like, meat and specialty foods and a lot of other, a lot of other things. I'm down to this area to do a walking video here, so uh, here I am. What's the time now? 2.29. Second, I'm going to Dufferin Lawrence and doing a walking video down Dufferin Street just near my area. I haven't really done a video there in probably since like 2020. There's a few places I frequented before the pandemic, so uh, I'll show you guys where I used to frequent. Here's Dumbling Avenue. Again, I have a lot of videos in line. 
where I get to be uploaded a few, a few TTC rides, uh, walking videos mainly, and I have a failed video coming up. Nope, it's not about, oh, TTC drivers or mall security telling me to turn it up. No, 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 no. I was filming a walking video through the exhibition place yesterday afternoon, and I, I filmed it in two parts, and I accidentally deleted the first clip. So I had to, uh, I had to, uh, uh, that's what I'm looking for. I had to make a little note of the little message at the beginning saying what happened. So I'm still going to post it though. But uh, really sorry about that, guys. But, but uh, by the ooh, saw smoke me here. But uh, by the time uh, you see it, it's probably going to be like like later this week, Wednesday or so. Drums and flats. I have been here three times. I was actually recently here on I think May the sixth. I think. It's a hammer to watch the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs play the Tampa Bay Lightning in Game Three, but it's a very it's a very nice place. But it's also known for its uh, local musical acts and great chicken wings. Here, Drums and Flats has been around for ten years, but it's mainly, of course, a sports bar too. As we just crossed Haddington Avenue, there's still some people enjoying the patio, but. When, uh, when the Raptors, Leafs, or any other tro major professional sports team in Toronto is playing, it's a big deal here. Mm, the rolling pin. There's a Tesla here. So again, we are in the North York Borough. Of course, this is the north end of Toronto, kinda. But also, when, when we get past Lawrence, we'll be in Midtown. But yeah, everywhere, everywhere, small businesses. Of course, some of which hit the most by COVID. But it's glad to see that most of them are rebounding, although I see a storefront that's abandoned or closed. Here we are in mid-2022. Things are going strong again, hoping for a freaking COVID-free world. Because, you know, I've been, uh, you know, left in the dark basically by myself. I have friends and stuff. I go to school, but fortunately there's, there hasn't been like much time like go out with friends or even though I'm, I've been tempted to like tell them about, you know, I have a YouTube channel. And I, I know this summer I'll be doing most of that, even if it's not on camera. What street is this? This is, this is Brook Avenue. I don't even have a, a, a big ass side street on the, on the street lights. They should. But, uh, Oh well. There's the Baskin Robbins as well. And there's a McDonald's here that I've been to only like once or twice. And most of these side streets here will take you to Baffer Street. Well, if you go east, they'll take you to Young Street. See? This is where we are. So right here, I'm gonna go to Lawrence. I had McDonald's last night. I got Uber Eats, had a McChicken combo. Oh, that's my favorite thing to have at McDonald's. I've been having it since when I was little. Oh, I could smell it. Or am I smelling the, uh, the fries here? Either way, I'm loving it. I've been loving it since I was a kid. <laughs> or as we call it Mickey D's, but I, I never call it Mickey D's. Right here on Row Avenue. Again, a weird name for a uh, side street, you know? It's, it's a very weird name. Oh, there's the CN Tower. And you know what I gotta do every time I see it for the first time in my video?
That's a very fantastic zoom, of course. Okay, I want to get a, a, a thumbnail shot with the, uh, the tower in the background. Well, if I can, of course. Okay, this may not, oh, this may not be the best shot, but uh, we'll see about that. Did I get it? Sure that I did, but either way, you guys are probably not going to see it. Because of how, you know, small it is from my point of view. Well, from uh, the point of view, I took it from my iPhone. I know there's a way that you can, uh, can take pictures while recording with the shutter button, but every time I do it, it just stops recording. But also, what I didn't know is that you can actually download the the generated thumbnails and like a little touch it, but I would rather like I would honestly rather uh, you know screenshot it while reviewing the YouTube video and then you know add stuff to it, you know make it look neat, make it stand out. Still got some schoolwork to finish, so I'm gonna do that when I get home. Sunday. I like to sleep in on Sundays, although there's a few times that I've been out on Sunday mornings filming videos. Here's the thing too, I'm a night owl, but my dad isn't. He would go on like morning drives, like let's say 7 a.m. 8 a.m. Not my cup of th not my cup of tea at all. I want to cross over to the other side at some point. So here's Melrose Avenue. Should I cross here or... I don't know. I don't know. I guess this is a pretty busy street. Avenue Road pretty much cuts through Midtown Toronto. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna cross here. This guy's trying to what is this guy trying to do here? I guess he's trying to cut through it. Oh, and because of the traffic, look. Look at this shit. Look at this. Thanks for blocking the freaking crosswalk. Okay, even pulling all the way. Okay, now okay, now there's a better shot of the CN Tower. Okay, there we go. But if it wasn't for these damn trees, let me see here. Okay, that's the best I can do. Here's my second thumbnail. But they don't want drivers to think I'm uh, taking a picture of them. Town. Okay, so this restaurant up ahead is called Safari. I think I've been there twice. It was definitely before COVID. They have some great pizza and chicken strips and fries. A nice patio as well. Yeah, it's this one here. Of course, you expect this to fill up by like evening, by the evening hours. It's the best time. Well, in my opinion, that's like the best time to go for like, you know, for dinner. You just enjoy it because, you know, patio season's back. I wonder if we're halfway through the video. I'm pretty sure we are now because how long I've been filming this for? 14 minutes. Most of my videos range from between 20 to 30 minutes. Hey, Montreal Bagels. 
I'd love to get back to Montreal and try some St. Vieter or Fairmont. I didn't have Mont I did have Montreal bagels when I was in Montreal back in April. My hotel had them. And, uh, here's Fairlawn Avenue. Oh, this building is owned by Rio Can. I could do a I could I could I could also do a walking video we down Avenue between Lawrence and Eglinton, but uh, it's all the, all there is is just houses. Really, I mean, even though there's actually a good view of the uh, Midtown Toronto skyline, you can't take any streets over to Young Street, or you can f find your way to Eglinton Park, which I've never really been to before. Of course, it's going to open up more cannabis shops everywhere, everywhere. Is your dance here too? You don't really see a lot of days your dance here in the city or even anywhere in Ontario because they're mostly a Quebec based uh, bank. Okay. That's kind of fast. Oh, that, that looks nice. What car is that? Woo. What is that then? Looks like a. Uh, I think he's turning here. He's turning here. Wow. That's a McLaren. <laughs> it's a McLaren. Those cars are actually rare. Wow. That is neat. Why the hell people need to ride their bikes on the sidewalk? First of all, it's illegal. Second, it's dangerous. And third, it's illegal to be doing that toward the age of 14. All right, here's the elections Ontario office. Of course, the election was on Thursday, and you all know who won. Oh, there's a little playground right here. It looks like it's hidden. What park is that? RBC Bank? Oh, traffic's building up here. I think we're getting close to Lawrence. As we pass Woolburn Avenue. I swear there's Woolburn and Scarborough as well. I know there's a neighborhood after that, but is there another street? There's a few streets in Toronto that are used again. Not just in like never part of Toronto, but also like outside, like for for example, there's Candy Road in Scarborough, but there's also Candy Road in Brampton. So that's kind of like mind-boggling. Because people always get confused. This guy's trying to make some noise here. Oh, he's going to turn here. Get out of the way. Before there's a break for him to turn, and then he scares the hell out of me. Okay, I see Lawrence up ahead. All right. I'm actually a really fast walker. I don't really like walking slow, to be honest. Oh, yeah, and now we're in the Bedford Park neighborhood. Oh, that looks nice. And now it's 2.43. Yes, hence there. Oh, wow! Didn't know there was a garden here. That is neat. <laughs> oh, let me see here. There's a bridge. This must be an apartment complex here. Wow. I did not know this is here. Look at that. Holy shit. 
Anybody who lives here, you guys are lucky to, be, to, to have this. Somebody has the uh, United Kingdom flag over there. That's because, uh... I, mean, I wonder if it's, it's because, uh... Of the uh, Jubilee celebrations over there. Wow! I did not even know this was here. These are apart these are apartments. Yeah, I think I'm leaning on towards going to Dufferin Street in a walking video. Maybe I'll try and film a bus ride. Or actually, Young Street isn't too far from here. Maybe what I can do is I can. Okay, I just missed the that eastbound bus. Let's go into Lawrence Station. Maybe film a, a riot heading westbound. They're retape because oh, that, that, that's a new flyer! Holy crap! That's a new flyer! Wow! I haven't been on these buses in, in like two years. I probably want to ride one. I really want to get a video on them. But so if you guys, uh, you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you guys may remember there's some fucking douchebag who was wondering why I was filming. He got into an argument with me. And then, uh, because of that, I felt irritated and decided to, like, vent my frustrations and swear throughout that video. So, uh, really tempted to, like, we're reaching. Ooh, the police are here. I was talking to that Toyota. I wonder why. Right outside this car wash. Huh. Great conversation. Maybe they know each other. Damn, I would have loved... I would have loved to catch a ride on the, on the new flyers. Should I wait here for, the, for that? I don't know. But, uh... Even if I take the next bus to, uh... Lawrence Station, I'm probably gonna miss it. And look, there's a lot of people waiting. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for the new flyer. Because I'll see her. That being said, I'm gonna wrap this up. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, stay tuned for more videos. And uh, stay safe, be well, be cool. It'll probably take at least eight minutes for them to like turn around here. And uh, yeah, so that's it folks, thanks guys, and uh, see you all in the next one, bye-bye.